Alright, the game is started. Uh, we have Hero with Konoka Yurina A2 versus Seth with uh, Itumi and Utsuro A1. Uh, focus one by Euro and Seth starting the game with playing the throw out from Megumi to to grow I mean to sprout one seed token and get one free basic action that is focus here. The game plan from Hero probably is quite straightforward. Uh, the bloom is going to cast a spirit right into destructive pretty quickly and have some damage dealt from that and then probably can run Kamakura to turn off the uh, in the name or can play a uh, final blow as well. There is a lot of game plan that Hero can use here. Well, from set side, I'm not so familiar with Utsuro A1 Megumi, so I can't say anything. Oh, pretty aggressive play here, starting with the 1-1 one -one attack by Megumi. That also sprout a seed token. Uh, one one attack is quite good if you play uh, Utsuro because it generates several C token. I mean, it generates Shido. One from your flare and one from Aura. Okay, this is quite interesting. Having like three sprouted set token uh, pretty early here, probably that is building a deck that employ a 2 1 attack from Mikumi that turns into 3 2, uh, Sky Gleam, I think, uh, with range 4 to 8. The question is right now is can Hero move forward to like range 5? To have a 3 0 attack by Urena. Probably, if Hero bring a Harmony, Hero can play that to, uh, to take the charge 2 from Aura and then 1 from Shadow, and then using 1 figure to move forward and using 2 card to move forward and then finalize the attack with 3 0. I don't know if that's a good idea or not because it moves. The range to range 5 isn't solely to the range of had a Megumi to an attack that can turn into 3 2. Forward to my hero.
and ending the turn at ring seat. Now set kind can move forward twice to to make sure to make all of his attack in range. Starting with two an attack that will Oh interesting. What kind of enchantment Utsuro will use? If this attack goes to Aura and set bring full moon and uh three two from Megumi it can like till to life damage here. But it goes if it goes to life then yeah, it's to life it's one life damage. Fine. Aura is fine I guess. Oh focus. Giving to growth to an enchantment. Is it like Kururu device? Reverber? Yep. It's Kururu Ziki and play it with 4 Sakura token. I mean 4 seed token there. Alright, uh, that's quite interesting. Uh, okay. This is the first time I saw something like this. And here comes the 3 2, I guess. Yep, it's 3 2, will cost to Aura, I believe. And will be followed by 2 1 next turn. Alright, this is pretty neat by Hero getting the Guardian Spirit back, uh, back to hand. Guardian Spirit right to hand. This is interesting though because of that uh, reverberation device by Kururu and uh, the, seed, the number of total seed token that will go to sprouted or filled is only one. It means that uh, the sky claim will almost always active. Alright, to and fly. And this is quite a big turn by Hero, I think. Hero can start by blooming the Honoka's attack uh, using Brandis, Slash, starting with Slash 3 1, that goes to life for sure. And because that card is unguarded, it's got discard. And then probably can move forward against two range three. Oh wow, that's good. Yep, harmony. And then starting with Brandis for a two-two attack. If it if Brandis goes to Aura, set will need to take one life damage and two Aura damage. So aura damage from Brandis and then uh, Harmony will deal to one attack and that goes to life. Quite big turn by hero here, uh, giving a lot of pressure. And yeah. <clears throat> and also hero probably still have the two one attack from Honoka right now. That probably heroes uh, just to keep it in hand. And bloom it later. Here's the thing, because of the harmony, if set just to recover, uh, set not need to take to an attack. So the best move probably here from set is move forward. Or, oh, set just ending his turn here. With zero aura against 
uh, Yurina Honoka. Yurina itu Honoka. Probably uh, Hiro can play the draw out from Yurina right now to deal to life damage and recover to. It looks fine. Starting with a uh, petal storm or one attack that goes to light, and then probably set will choose aura to distance. Because set's aura is zero, and there is no reason to give your opponents free aura. Yep, this is the turn where Hero will bloom the Guardian Spirit, right? I think because if not, if you didn't, if you don't bloom it right now, your deck will. You only have like one card in deck, and you need take quite some time to rebloom it back. This is pretty good. And goes back to the bottom of the deck. Uh, any reaction that could deal with this? Yes, there is one reaction that can deal with this. It's Utsuro Roshi. And the range becomes 2 to 3 and it will not bloom because of the after attack effect is negated. I feel this is this feels quite late to play Roche right now because all the damage already be done and I'm not sure though but it's fine probably because of delaying the bloom is quite good. Probably Road will just end his turn here. Right? Or just to move forward, recover with for safety. Trick cover, but uh, I I feel it's uh, you need to have like six cards in your deck, like even resuffle, because uh, if hero resuffle and get is guardian on the bottom of the deck it will be really really sad and now all offset special is already open and yeah we all know what set card are special card are so there is no threat from spreading palm and other Utsuro special or Nikuni special. Starting with one. This can go to life, I guess. No, you don't want to be three to. Yep. Life is better here. <laughs>
it goes to life. Ending turn and yeah, hero can just recover one or just end his turn here. There is no rush waiting for Roche to to be turned off next turn. Or probably hero thinking to play Yuri Nastro out Kamakura. Yep, recover one, it's good. The game is already heavy favored on hero side right now. Because of there is no uh there is no Roche anymore and no spreading form and and hero still have like four flare probably to be used for uh in the name of this flag and or other attack. I don't think hero bring final blow here because of the because of Utsuro's ability to burn flare, like knowing dust and after Utsuro's and his knight is activated, there is a card that make your opponent need, uh, makes your opponent to deal like six Sakura token from our flare or like. Now we are at range 4, I guess here we, here we will see 2-3-2 two, two attack here, one from Sky Gleam and one from the card that I forgot the name, 2 one plus one plus one if there is an enchantment with C token on it. Uh, but yeah, there is a possibility of hero bringing Uranami, so the other 3-2 will go to Aura created by Uranami here or actually probably it, no it cannot be reacted by Guardian Spirit right because we are at range 4 right now now the question is whether you play Uranami or not right now if you don't bring it probably not right I see this is quite strong by Seth actually because of uh, Hero cannot move forward to range 2 and there is a possibility that Seth bring formal trust the reaction from make that make your opponents to move backward so Hero need to attack from range 3 and cannot use uh, Cannot attack with Guardian Spirit right from range 2. Alright, starting with Harmony. I see, probably this is in the name of this flag. Alright, if it goes to Aura, Harmony will do one attack. Starting with Sakura Fubuki, I mean. Uh, Petal Storm, pretty good here. I will it's better if you would just move. I don't know. I'm not hero and I can see here again. Goes to life and then for one, for three, we are at range three right now. At range 3, there is Brandis that might be reacted by Formal Trust and also there is Slash and there is 
for the experience right that we will react that back for trust as well and you cannot move forward because of the mastery distance is not changed yeah probably what we will need to do uh, attacking with sakura uh just that petal storm is move forward first This is the card that I'm talking about. Right now, the distance is 3, and the mastery zone is also becoming 3. And because of that card, hero cannot move forward to range 2. And if hero attacks from range 3, it can be reacted. No, not, not it can. I mean, if it, if hero attack from range 3 with Brandeis or Guardian Spirit, right? And in set hand there is a pommel trust that can react with it and make the attack miss and then hero's next uh, basic action is negated because of set have because set has uh enchantment that has a c token on it Okay, now the it's quite scary for set Alright, starting with that, probably recover to here, right? Or risking of final blue. Yep. Harmony activated, probably Hero will use it to recover focus or just recover actually. Starting with Guardian Spirit, right? Probably go to right here. It's quite scary to take this to Aura because of Randy's and in the name of this flag. I assume Guardian will be blown into the practice. For next turn, to ensure next turn, Hero will have later.
Alright, having 3-0 here is quite good. This will cost to life, I presume. And then will be followed by moving backward probably. But moving backward is not such a good idea. Retreat? No, not really. Retreat, I don't know. I'm not sure what which action that hero will take here. Moving backward will move the lens to 4 and then move the lens to set attack next turn. And then the 2 1 will fly. Probably focus here. Right? Focus 1 already missed and then bit in the main brandish slash. Probably if I should make it in his brandish next slice. And this will be reacted. So let's go to life. And the name goes to Aura. The one goes to life. And yep. There is more reshuffle. Alright, that's game then. Wow. Yep, moving 